It's use it or lose it. As men age, if they stay sexually active, they can keep their prostate healthier. There's a lot of evidence coming down the pipe right now that if a man is sexually active, continuously uh, sexual activity, prostate is much healthier. There's less enlarging, there's less problems later on. Which means peak sexual performance can be maintained for a longer time. Do aphrodisiacs actually work? Um, really the only aphrodisiac is testosterone. I mean, oysters and chocolate and, uh, well, some champagne, but that's not really an aphrodisiac, it just loosens you up. So really the only aphrodisiac is testosterone. Males produce it as well as females. And you can only increase testosterone in both males and females by working out. Exercising will also help both male and female baby boomers and other areas associated with sexual decline. Your circulation is what you need for sexual performance. Without circulation, there's no erection. For women, increased circulation, again helped by exercise, helps with menopause. If we are sexually active and continue to be sexually active, it slows the process of the side effects of menopause. So vaginal lubrication, things that, that would make sex unpleasant, those things will not, they'll be diminished. Check out Professor Woodward's full interview on the website. I'm Joe Winkler with The Boomer Report.